Well, continuing our Education Watch 10, concerning the Affordable Care Act impacting local schools came to a head recently. Now, classrooms in Vigo County may see more teachers' aides in the coming year than they first expected. News 10's John Swanner takes a closer look at how the additional teacher help connects to the Affordable Care Act. Coming into the school year, the Vigo County School Corporation had planned to keep all educational assistance to 30 hours or less. Under the Affordable Care Act, the corporation has to offer health insurance to all employees who work 30 hours or more. The corporation says it simply cannot afford to offer health insurance to the 325 educational assistants in the corporation. Fast forward to last week when the Obama administration chose to delay implementing Obamacare. Now the school corporation says things will go back to normal for now. You know, our students are going to be able to have uh, the same um, assistance that they had for the entire day as they did uh, last year. Unfortunately, this change may only last for half the school year. Newport says in October comes the government's look back period. And during that look back period on what hours uh, people work who aren't going to be offered insurance uh, could mean that we have to, in January, begin uh, to go back to our original plan. Also, because sports schedules and extracurricular activities schedules are set, Newport says the Obamacare delay will not change the school corporation's stance on those events. Plans to cut the amount of road time for buses and drivers will still be in place this coming school year. Field trips are obviously important, but it's also important that uh, our teachers are with their students uh, the majority of the time, particularly with the new, um, uh, new evaluation system. A lot of politics in today's education, but for now at least, a delay in Obamacare will allow teachers' aides more time in Vigo County classrooms. With photojournalist John Tim, I'm John Swanner, News 10.